you can generate series of dates in Excel in couple of ways. Whenever you want to manipulate dates, it's better to change the format of cells to date format. Select the range of cells you want to change the format. Right click on mouse, click on format cells, change the format to date, which is month, day, year. You can generate series of dates using the autofill handle. Enter the beginning date, for example, as 11 21 16 into cell B4. Move the cursor to right corner of the cell until it changes to plus sign, which is autofill handle. Now hold the right button of mouse. Keep in mind the right button of mouse and drag down until the cell you want the dates to be generated. Release the mouse right button. You can see Excel displays a window where you can select what dates you want to generate. Click on fill days if you want to generate just next updates. You can see the series of dates are generated by Excel. You can also generate just weekdays excluding Saturdays and Sundays. Follow the same steps, but click on Fill Weekdays. You can see 11.25 is a Friday and next date is 11.28, which is a Monday. Excel skipped the Saturday and Sunday. You can generate dates separated by month also. Follow the same steps, but click on Fill Months. Change the beginning date to 11-29-16. You can see for February, since there is no 29th date, Excel generated the date as 28th only. You can generate dates separated by year also. Follow the same steps, but click on Fill Years. You can see the dates are separated by year. The disadvantage using autofill handle to generate dates is if you change the first date, Excel won't change the rest of them according to first date. You can see the rest of the dates are not changing. But if you use a formula to generate the dates, then Excel will recalculate all the dates if the first date is changed. In cell C4, enter the date as 11-21-16. Click on cell C5. In the formula bar, type equal to C4 plus 1. Hit enter. You can see the next date is calculated as 11-22-16. Move the cursor to right corner of cell C5 until cursor changes to autofill handle. Now hold the left button of mouse. Keep in mind this time left button of mouse 
and drag to the cell until where you want to generate the dates. You can see next updates are generated. If you want to generate dates separated by week, enter the beginning date as 11-21-16 in cell D4. For cell D5 in the formula bar, type equal to D4 plus 7 and use the autofill handle to copy the formula to the rest of the cells. You can see the dates are calculated which are separated by a week. If you want to generate dates separated by month, enter the beginning date as 11-21-16 into cell E4. In cell E5, type the formula as equal to function date date within parenthesis year within parenthesis e4 comma month within parenthesis e4 plus 1 comma day within parenthesis e4 this formula takes the year portion of date in E4 and the month portion in date E4 and adds 1 to it and keeps the day as same. Hit enter. You can see the next month date is generated. Use autofill handle to copy formula to rest of cells. When the year changes, you can see Excel automatically changed the year even though formula doesn't have a plus one for year. You can use similar formula to increment year to generate dates separated by year. Enter date 11-21-16 into cell F4. For cell F5 in the formula bar, enter the same formula except increment the year by 1 instead of the month and use autofill handle to copy the dates to the rest of the cells in the column. You can see the dates are separated by year. 